What if Vincent van Gogh had been widely recognized and appreciated in his time? Immerse yourself in a universe where Vincent van Gogh was celebrated in his lifetime, influencing not only art but also culture and fashion. Discover how his early recognition could have transformed the world of art and beyond. In an alternate timeline, Paris in 1886 becomes the setting for an unprecedented artistic phenomenon. Vincent van Gogh, a man until now marked by misunderstanding and poverty, lands in the City of Light with a handful of canvases under his arm, works that would soon change the course of art history. Unlike our reality, in this version of the story, Van Gogh's emotional intensity and vibrant color palette immediately capture the attention and admiration of the era's most influential critics and art collectors. His unique style, which dramatically deviates from established norms, is not considered the work of an unbalanced person but the brilliance of a visionary. Van Gogh's exhibition at the Café du Tambourin is not just another event on the Parisian cultural calendar. It becomes the talk of the year, attracting a diverse crowd that includes aficionados and the most prominent art critics. The vibrant exhibition challenges traditional art perception, introducing a new era where emotional expression and bold use of color take center stage. This early acclaim not only transforms Van Gogh's life, freeing him from the chains of despair and darkness, but also lays the foundation for a revolution in modern art. Van Gogh's recognition during his lifetime profoundly altered his personal and professional destiny. Freed from the financial and emotional hardships that plagued his existence in our reality, he dedicates himself entirely to his art with renewed energy and a clear purpose. His creativity, now fueled by a supportive and admiring environment, reaches new heights, allowing him to explore and further develop his unique vision of the world. The impact of this artistic dawn extends beyond Van Gogh's life and career. Being embraced by the society of his time, he becomes a beacon for a generation of emerging artists, who see in him a role model. The acceptance of his work challenges established conventions, encouraging others to break with tradition and explore new forms of expression. Thus, the early recognition of his genius transforms his destiny and marks the beginning of a new era in art history, an era defined by boldness, innovation, and unrestricted emotional expression. Inspired by his unprecedented success in Paris, Vincent van Gogh moves to Arles searching for the unmatched light of southern France, an element he considers essential for his next creative phase. This change of scenery marks the beginning of one of the most prolific and revolutionary periods of his career. In Arles, Van Gogh's work delves into a new dimension, characterized by an even deeper exploration of light and color. His series of sunflowers, wheat fields under turbulent skies, and starry nights not only capture the essence of the Provençal landscape but also reflect an emotional intensity that transcends visual representation, connecting with the viewer on a visceral level. The Yellow House, Van Gogh's home and studio in Arles, becomes a magnet for artists, critics, and art lovers from all over Europe. This place, which in our reality was a sanctuary of solitude and despair, in this timeline transforms into a vibrant center of creativity and learning. Here, Van Gogh works on his pieces and shares knowledge and techniques with those seeking to learn from the master. Van Gogh's generosity and passion for sharing his art vision inspired a new generation of artists, who see in him not only an innovator but also a mentor. French collectors, eager to acquire a piece of the artistic revolution taking place in Arles, begin to value Van Gogh's works like never before. His paintings, once considered too radical, now adorn the walls of the most distinguished homes and the most prestigious galleries. This recognition and financial support provide Van Gogh with stability that allows him to devote himself entirely to his art, pushing him toward new experiments with form, color, and texture. Van Gogh's influence on Arles goes beyond the impact on his own work and those around him. His success inspires a broader movement toward the appreciation of light and color, not just in painting but in all forms of artistic expression. The landscape and life of Provence become worthy subjects of art, seen through the unique prism of Van Gogh, forever changing the way artists and viewers alike perceive the world around them. 
This period in Arles is not just a chapter in Van Gogh's life but a defining moment in art history, where the passion for light and color are established as essential elements of modern expression. The early recognition of Vincent Van Gogh catalyzes his friendship with other art titans of his era, facilitating a relationship with Paul Gauguin that, unlike our reality, is less volatile and more fruitful. This alliance, strengthened by mutual respect and admiration for each other's work, becomes the cornerstone of an artistic movement that redefines Impressionism. Together, in the luminosity of Arles, Van Gogh and Gauguin immerse themselves in a creative exchange that is both a friendly rivalry and a deep collaboration, pushing the boundaries of their art into new and bold directions. The relationship between these two art giants flourishes in a time of widespread recognition for Van Gogh, allowing them to found a school in Arles that attracts artists from across Europe. This learning center is not just a workshop, it's a laboratory for innovation in art, where new techniques are experimented with, color theory is debated, and a spirit of camaraderie among artists is fostered. The influence of this school is felt throughout the continent, pushing Impressionism into previously unexplored territories and laying the groundwork for future movements. The collaboration between Van Gogh and Gauguin gives rise to works that are celebrated not only for their beauty, but also for their ability to capture the complexity of the human experience. The paintings produced during this period are characterized by their boldness, a richer color palette, and a trend towards abstraction that challenges the conventions of the time. This innovative approach transforms the work of both artists and inspires their contemporaries to explore new creative horizons, freeing themselves from the constraints of traditional artistic forms. The impact of the Impressionists' brotherhood extends beyond the walls of their school in Arles. As Van Gogh's fame grows, so does the influence of his circle of artists. The exhibitions of their works, both in France and internationally, become significant events in the cultural calendar, attracting crowds and generating energetic debate about the future of art. This period is remembered not only as the zenith of Van Gogh's career, but also as a time of creative effervescence that changed the artistic landscape of Europe and paved the way for modernity in art. Vincent van Gogh stands as a beacon of light in European art, tipping the scales towards a deeper emotional expression and innovative use of color. His unprecedented success and influence extend beyond the borders of France, inspiring artists in neighboring countries like Belgium and the Netherlands, and even beyond the European continent. This wave of inspiration is not limited to artistic circles. It touches an entire generation of creatives in various disciplines, motivating them to explore their emotions through their work. Van Gogh becomes the symbol of a new era in art, an era where emotional sincerity and visual boldness are valued over traditional conventions and techniques. Van Gogh's influence is evident in the proliferation of vibrant and emotive styles that begin to appear in galleries and salons across Europe. Young artists, armed with Van Gogh's example, dare to express their inner visions with unprecedented freedom and passion. This movement is not just a repetition of what Van Gogh had done, it is an expansion, an exploration of new ideas and techniques that would have been unthinkable without his example. Van Gogh's star shines brightly, not just as a guide, but as an invitation to experimentation and innovation. In this context, Art begins to function as a mirror of the complexity of the human experience, reflecting both its joys and its torments. Van Gogh's work, with its unique ability to capture the intensity of emotions and the beauty of the mundane, becomes a model to follow. His influence is felt in the growing acceptance of the idea that art must be a personal exploration, a search for truth that transcends mere visual representation. This philosophy seeps into the artistic culture, encouraging artists to find their voice and express their deepest emotions without fear of rejection or misunderstanding. Van Gogh's star not only lights the way for artists, it also changes the way the public perceives art. The appreciation of emotional expression and color use becomes an important criterion for evaluating art, opening the doors to a wider and more diverse audience. Art exhibitions transform, moving from elitist events to cultural gatherings where people from all walks of life can experience and debate the meaning and impact of art. In this environment enriched by innovation and openness, 
Van Gogh's figure stands out as a symbol of progress and the infinite capacity of art to connect with the very essence of humanity. Despite his unprecedented recognition and success, Vincent Van Gogh continues to battle his internal demons. The artist's mental health remains a constant battle, a struggle he now faces from a place of greater support and understanding from the artistic community and society at large. This shift in public perception about mental health, partly driven by the emotional honesty of Van Gogh's work, allows for a new conversation about the well-being of creatives. Van Gogh, in this alternate universe, becomes an emblem of the fight against the stigma of mental illness, showing that genius and vulnerability can coexist. The fame and success, however, bring new challenges for Van Gogh. The pressure to maintain his status as a leader in modern art and continue innovating weighs on him. The constant expectation of surpassing his previous achievements becomes a source of anxiety. However, unlike his life in our reality, in this alternate world, Van Gogh finds a robust support circle. Other artists, critics, and art patrons mobilize to offer him the emotional and professional support he needs, recognizing the importance of caring for his well-being to preserve his creative ability. This support is not limited to his immediate circle. Society, influenced by Van Gogh's emotional and sincere art, begins to adopt a more understanding and proactive attitude towards mental health. Art institutions and foundations also started to focus also on the well-being of artists, offering assistance programs and safe spaces where they could work without fear of judgment. This shift marks significant progress in how culture treats its creative figures, understanding that the mind that produces works of great beauty often needs care and understanding. Van Gogh, with the backing of a more empathetic community, continues his work with renewed intensity. Though his personal challenges remain, the support network he finds allows him to experiment with his art in ways that were previously unimaginable. His explorations push modern art into new territories, demonstrating that vulnerability is not an obstacle to creativity, but a source of depth and authenticity. Van Gogh's story, in this alternate world, becomes a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the ability of art to triumph over adversity. The recognition of Vincent van Gogh during his lifetime, an unprecedented phenomenon in this alternate timeline, ensures not only his personal and financial well-being but also the preservation of his work for posterity. Cultural institutions and art patrons, aware of the historical importance of his work, rush to acquire his paintings, while galleries and museums around the world compete to organize exhibitions dedicated to his genius. This attention elevates Van Gogh to celebrity status and ensures that his influence will endure through generations, making his art a national and international treasure. Van Gogh's success transcends the personal realm to become a cultural phenomenon. The exhibitions of his work become cultural landmarks, events that attract crowds beyond the usual artistic circles. These events educate the public on the intrinsic value of art as an expression of human experience, while the narrative of Van Gogh's life, marked by overcoming personal adversities to achieve success, becomes a source of inspiration for artists and non-artists alike. The Van Gogh Foundation was established as a legacy of his success, with the aim of preserving his work for future generations, supporting artists facing similar challenges with their mental health, and promoting art as a form of therapy. The Foundation works tirelessly to ensure that Van Gogh's legacy is not limited to his paintings but also includes the positive impact his life and work have on understanding and accepting mental health issues in society. Through his lifetime legacy, Van Gogh changed the perception of art and artists in society. His story and work demonstrate that art has the power not only to beautify the world but also to change it challenging social conventions and opening new avenues for dialogue and understanding. The recognition of his genius during his lifetime ensures that his influence extends beyond his time, impacting not only the development of modern art, but also how society values and supports its creators. The foundation bearing his name perpetuates this impact, ensuring that Van Gogh's star continues to shine illuminating the path for future artists and for all those who find comfort, inspiration, and understanding through art. Vincent van Gogh's influence extends far beyond the traditional boundaries of art, 
permeating popular culture, fashion, and philosophy. His unique worldview, one that transforms the everyday into something extraordinary through color and shape, inspires creators and thinkers across an impressively broad spectrum of disciplines. Fashion designers cite his works as inspiration for collections that capture the essence of his vibrant palette and emotive approach, while in interior design, patterns, and colors influenced by Van Gogh become synonymous with style and sophistication. Van Gogh's aesthetic, with its ability to unveil beauty in the mundane, influences philosophy and literature, where he is cited as an example of how perception can radically transform our experience of the world. His work becomes a symbol of the quest for beauty and truth beyond superficial appearances, inspiring people to see the world around them with new eyes. This ability to influence how people understand and appreciate their surroundings is perhaps one of Van Gogh's most enduring legacies, a testament to the profound connection between art and human experience. Moreover, Van Gogh's popularity in general culture fosters a democratization of art. Reproductions of his works adorn homes and offices, while technology allows his art to be accessible to a global audience through digital platforms. This unprecedented access breaks down barriers between art and the public, making the aesthetic experience something widely shared, rather than exclusive to cultural elites. Van Gogh's work, in achieving this level of universal recognition, becomes a common meeting point, a visual language that transcends cultural and geographical boundaries. The expansion of Van Gogh's horizons beyond art to popular culture and other disciplines reflects a shift in the perception of creativity and its value in society. His influence is felt in how people approach creativity in their lives, seeing it not only as a means of personal expression but as a fundamental tool for understanding and appreciating the world. Van Gogh's vision inspires many to seek beauty in the ordinary, promoting a deeper appreciation of everyday life and encouraging a more intimate engagement with the natural and social world. In this sense, Van Gogh is not just an artist, but a philosopher whose legacy invites ongoing exploration of what it means to be human in a world rich in color and emotion. The art school founded by Vincent van Gogh and Paul Gauguin in Arles becomes the epicenter of a new wave of modernism that goes beyond traditional aesthetics to merge emotional expression with technical innovations. This sanctuary of creativity attracts visionary minds from all over Europe, eager to learn from the masters and to experiment with new forms of visual expression. The atmosphere of collaboration and experimentation that reigns in the school challenges artists to break away from conventions, exploring themes and techniques that had until then been marginalized or directly ignored by the artistic establishment. As the disciples of Van Gogh and Gauguin begin to establish themselves on their own, the influence of the school spreads like ripples in a pond, giving rise to movements that push the boundaries of known art. Expressionism, Fauvism, and other avant-garde's of the 20th century drink from the teachings of Arles, each carrying the seed of Van Gogh's revolution to new territories. These movements, though diverse in form and philosophy, share a common core inspired by Van Gogh, the belief in the authentic expression of internal experience and the use of color and form as vehicles to convey complex emotions. Van Gogh's legacy acts as a bridge to these new artistic horizons, demonstrating that innovation is not only possible but necessary for the progress of art. His life and work, celebrated in his lifetime, have become a case study on how creative courage, combined with the right recognition and support, can unlock the transformative potential of art. The new wave of modernism that arises from the Arles School carries the banner of this revolution, marking the beginning of a century characterized by limitless experimentation and the constant redefinition of what art can be. This period of creative effervescence reaffirms Van Gogh's position not only as an artist but as a catalyst for change. The school he founded with Gauguin becomes a symbol of this transformative capacity, a place where the barriers between the traditional and the modern fade away, allowing a new vision of art to flourish. The new wave of modernism, therefore, not only reflects Van Gogh's individual genius but also his role as a mentor and visionary, whose influence extends far beyond the works he created, fueling the fire of artistic innovation for future generations. As Vincent van Gogh ages, 
he faces the challenge of maintaining his relevance in a rapidly changing art world. The constant evolution of trends and movements presents a challenge both to his creativity and his legacy. However, far from being daunted, Van Gogh embraces these changes with curiosity and enthusiasm, allowing him to explore new techniques and mediums. His style, while deeply rooted in the principles that defined his early success, begins to reflect a deeper introspection and an exploration of new artistic horizons. This period of his life is characterized by a series of bold experiments, where Van Gogh delves into the world of sculpture, engraving, and mixed techniques, seeking new ways to express his unique vision of the world. His late work, marked by emotional complexity and an unprecedented visual richness, challenges critics and followers alike, forcing them to reconsider what they knew about the artist and his art. Although some of these new works received mixed reviews at the time, they have been recognized over time as being ahead of their time, evidence of Van Gogh's tireless, innovative spirit. Furthermore, Van Gogh becomes a mentor to the next generation of artists, sharing not only his techniques and artistic vision but also his philosophy on the importance of authenticity and personal expression in art. His pedagogical approach, based on encouraging individual exploration rather than imposing rules, deeply influences young artists, who take the lessons learned from Van Gogh in new and diverse creative directions. Van Gogh's late work, although not always understood in its time, is celebrated decades later as a prophetic vision of the direction of modern and contemporary art. His ability to adapt and experiment, even in the face of challenges from age and health, reinforces his status as one of the most influential artists in history. This chapter of his life underscores the importance of continuous evolution in creativity, demonstrating that true artistic genius lies not only in the ability to create beauty but in the bravery to face the unknown and transform it into art. The influence of Vincent van Gogh on art and culture transcends his existence, becoming a timeless icon whose work continues to inspire new generations. Over the years, his legacy has not only remained intact but has grown, resonating with people of all ages and backgrounds. His pioneering approach to color, texture, and emotion in art remains a benchmark for contemporary artists, who see in Van Gogh a role model in the pursuit of authenticity and personal expression. The echo of his influence extends beyond the confines of the canvas, permeating popular culture, art education, and discussions on mental health and creativity. The stories of his life and work, characterized by passion, struggle, and the ultimate triumph over adversity, offer a constant source of inspiration. Exhibitions dedicated to Van Gogh attract millions of visitors worldwide, while reproductions of his works and products inspired by his aesthetic fill homes, demonstrating the universality and timelessness of his appeal. In the educational field, Van Gogh has become an essential study for any art student, not only for his technique but also for his philosophical approach to artistic creation. His life is a testament to the importance of pursuing personal vision despite obstacles, a message that resonates powerfully in a world that often values conformity over individuality. Globally, Van Gogh's art continues to serve as a cultural bridge, uniting people from diverse cultures and backgrounds through a shared appreciation of his work. This ability to bring people together, and to speak a universal language of color and emotion, is perhaps Van Gogh's most powerful legacy. His work remains a vibrant reminder of art's ability to capture the complexity of the human experience, offering comfort, inspiration, and a deep sense of connection. The echo of Van Gogh's color and his impact on art, culture, and society, is felt as strongly today as at any time since his death. Through his art, Van Gogh continues to live, an indomitable spirit whose quest for beauty and truth in the ordinary continues to illuminate the path for those seeking to understand the world through the eyes of an artist.